friggin' right. Starting off the day with some class today. There I am yesterday. Technically still today. Welcome to the vlog. It's 11.39 p.m. day 506 on what will be Tuesday, May 1st, 2012. This is a two-month vlog. You should feel damn special. We're starting off in April and we're going to end it tomorrow in the month of May. As I said at the end of yesterday's vlog, I'm going to talk to Bobby and that's exactly what I'm doing. I got some screens open over here. It says it's 60 degrees outside, but it feels really nice. So I'm going to catch up on some stuff now. Go take a shower in a little bit. This is part of the day you usually don't see. I end the vlog. I do this all this junk down here, doing emails and editing and stuff, watching YouTube videos, crawl into bed, go to bed. Uh, but I'm going to show you a little bit, a little bit of it now. So day 506, you're finally seeing JRS vlog after dark. So this is kind of step one of the evening routine: is editing and exporting the vlog. And as you can see, that is 50% done, damn near 49%. So when that gets done, there's 50%, I'm gonna start the upload on that. And then I make like three trips up to my bedroom with stuff. I got jewelry here that needs to go up, I got a phone, I got wires all over the place, sink cables, power cables, stuff everywhere that's gonna to need to go upstairs and be organized. And uh, then I'm gonna take a shower and, and do my, my evening routine now, which is up to 125 push-ups and 50 crunches, which feels awesome. And I know that at night is a stupid time to do that. But I've been doing it for a year and a half, and I'm gonna keep going. All right, so I was looking at about an eight minute vlog yesterday. It took about nine minutes to export, eight minutes to edit. Just begun the uploading process. And um, things aren't going well right now. I think the Mac needs to reboot. We're only uploading at 220K per second. And I've noticed that everything with the internet has been slow. So I'm gonna go make some changes and we'll see if we can change that 50 minute time. All right, there we go. Now we're flying. So we'll see what the upload time says now. Yeah. Ah, uh, 17 minutes, I'll take that. All right, 125 push-ups and 50 crunches done. Feels good, I'm gonna get myself some chocolate milk, because I want chocolate milk, I don't know why. And uh, we're doing well here. 17%, 15 minutes remaining. So that'll be up pretty soon. While that finishes up, I'm gonna grab a shower, and I'll talk to you guys in the AM. Morning, it is May 1st, 2012. It's uh, Tuesday. I'm on the way in. It's very cloudy, but it's 66 degrees at 7.50 in the morning, and that's cool. So, no complaints with me. Okay, we're looking at 12.01 p.m. now. Um, I took off lunch and 5.06 today. I kind of ate my lunch during periods 1, 2, and 3. I was hungry, so. You know, I'd pull out a bagel and eat that, and then I got into some blue or some blackberries, which were really good, and that led to goldfish, and then some chocolate, and then my lunch was gone. So I'm home now, and check it out. They're working on the place across the street. They got the shutters off, and over the past month, I have uh, seen them over there. I'm pretty friendly with them. Great neighbors. Been mowing their lawn for a few years, and they've been going out, and you know, they park the car on the street, and they hold up samples. So they're obviously going to paint the house. They got the shutters off. Looks like they're going to power wash it first. Get everything all cleaned up. You can see the shutters there next to that ladder. And uh, I'm probably going to paint it the same color because it had oxidized um, the paint. It's, these, all these houses are aluminum siding. Ours, is, ours isn't too bad because we power wash it every year. But I'm excited to see what that'll look like in a few days when it's all done. Hopefully they do something different with the shutters aside from that purple color. So it's been a simple day so far. We've got two classes left and one of them is a complete write-off. So that means Tuesday is about done already. All right, boys, we're back, and I spy the focus. I'll talk to you after two classes. Well, guys, we're coming through the Ohio Valley here in Peninsula. This is Boston Mills Road, probably one of the best roads I could ever drive this car on. This car handles it so well through here. That doesn't like a little bit of gravel on the road, but my God, this thing does well through here. Anyways, I just talked to the guys over at NTB, and I took it over, told them what was going on, and they said, yeah, that's normal when you turn rotors. Drive it a while. It's still doing it. Bring it back. So, I guess I'll drive it a week, and we'll see how it goes. There's the M6 again. Ah, uh, yeah. 67 degrees. Downtown. Beautiful. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, so I don't remember if I filmed the clip or not, but I did go over there and talk to the manager at NTB, uh, the guy who managed all the stuff that went on with the car, and I explained the problem, or the noise, and he said that it's most likely from the rotors being machined, they machined them five different times, they did five cuts, being really careful, taking, I don't even know, how thousands probably of an inch off each time, or 
hundreds of thousands, I don't know how much, very little, I'm sure. So he said, drive it a while, 100, 200 miles for a week maybe, and if it's still squeaking Monday, bring it back and they'll open it up again and figure out what it is, so that's fine. Um, so I drove it today about 70 miles, anywhere from zero to high double digit miles an hour, and uh, I don't know, I don't think it's getting worse. If anything, it is getting better or staying the same, but I'll keep going with it for a couple days and we'll see what happens. If not, I'll take it over there next week and uh, get that fixed. So I got to work out here, probably starting at about four. I just finished up. It is 10 to eight. And I got the mulch done all the way over to here, which is pretty much where the mulch stops and the myrtle starts. And I wish that they would all come up to myrtle to there, but I put down about 40 bags today. Got everything done from the front door over. Did all these trees here in the front yard. So that means everything in the front is done, which means that everything we do every two to three years is done. So now it's the stuff that we do every five years that isn't as prominent as the front of the house that I need to do. And I've got three, six, seven, eight and a half bags left over here in the corner of the driveway. And I'm thinking that'll be enough to kind of do the back. And we do the back every four or five years as well. So I'll kind of start here back here as you can see it it needs it pretty badly back here my mom hasn't done any planning back here yet for the patio and I'm thinking the eight bags will at least get me to there possibly this area too and then I'm gonna need another three or four to get over to there and as you can see I've got weeds everywhere and then when she plants the flower bed we'll carry another four or five bags in the Honda back for that area but this back here is really bad look at this it's completely gone to pot we haven't touched it in like five years nobody sees it so I'm thinking we're going to have to do another 10, 15, 20 bags back here, pull all the weeds out, reorganize the bricks. That's going to be quite a project that may not get done in this session. I've got to get my dad over here to cut up these trees back here that have fallen and take a couple dead ones down. So that'll be the next thing. And then we'll do the planting of the flowers and mulching. And then maybe this summer I'll take it upon myself to do that bed back there. And by summer, I really hope I mean June or very early July at the latest. So needless to say, my back is killing me carrying, they're heavy. When they're wet, it rained all night, they're pretty heavy, they're probably 40 pounds a piece. And carrying that a foot away from yourself so you don't get goo all over yourself, it, it kills my back, guys. I'm six foot four, three, whatever, and it hurts carrying all that, like all the way over there. I probably trucked 25 bags out to that area from over here. So I'm done with this today. I'm gonna go pick up Ken and we're gonna chill and I gotta lay down. We are downtown and we just got donuts. We're in Michael's new car, right? Yeah, nah. Now this is the one he's driving now. This is a 2000 Acura um, uh, 3.5 RL, right? Yeah. And we're not in very much light here. Is there any lights in here we can turn um, on that work? Yeah. Uh, I think the key has to be on for these back ones, but uh, we got lights up there. Oh, they're no. both burned out. They're both burned out. Well, convenient. <laughs> so, what's the mileage on here? Well, if you can, can you, can you, can you? The camera can't see, just read it. It's. Oh, wait, hold on. Put it in neutral. Let's see what this sounds like in here. <laughs> what does that sound? Oh my god, you need a muffler. But, what's your mileage? 234,948. So, 235,000 miles on a uh, production. August 1999 RL, and the only thing I can find that doesn't work are these back uh, lights <laughs> in the ceiling. And he's got a couple lights up on the dash. No, they're just they're just for decoration. Yeah, well, it's like Las Vegas up here. Um, that's VSA and ABS, which is stability yeah, and virtual, virtual stability assistant, anti-lock braking system. Then he's got um, SRS, yeah, SRS, which is airbags. Right. And then there's something in the middle of the dash. We don't really know what that. Can you see it now? They can't see. And that. then the check engine light is on over by the tack. <laughs> so it's got quite the plethora of issues. However, works. it still drives well. And the timer works. Yeah, the timer or the, uh, the clock. clock works. The clock works. That's important. Yeah. And it's got a nice audio system. The Those. seats are actually nice. He's he's got some shredded paper back here for the dog, I guess. But I think that's what it is. <laughs> it's in incredibly good shape. Kenan's taking pictures of this this piece of shit Dodge over here. Is that loud? Oh shit! Yeah, I think that was loud. What about the yeah? What, what about the person who owns that Dodge? What do they walk outside? <laughs> yeah, it's a fairly new. Viper SRT10, I think. It's blue. So he backed into stripe. that spot. So this is the outside of the TL, or RL. And see if anybody can tell me what car this looks like from the early, mid, late 90s, other than the Acura. What does the body lines of this thing look like? Look at the hood. 
and the front uh, fenders and the bumper. What does it look like, guys? Tell me. See if anybody knows. All right, Kenan's going to give us a little demo of the suspension here. I'm not pressing hard or anything. All right, put your full weight on it. Let's get the full picture here. Look at this. You're going to set the car up. That, that is not right. I think it's time for struts and springs on the Acura. Hey guys, what up? Uh, it's about 11.58 here on Tuesday. I can't believe Tuesday's done. I can't believe it's not butter. So that's done. Um, I got a lot of work done today. My back's killing me though from carrying so many bags of mulch around. But as you saw before, I got the whole front done. Kenan came over. We hung out here. We went downtown, found a Viper, had a few donuts with Mike. Uh, and that was cool. So tomorrow's Wednesday. I think we're gonna head out to lunch with Jack. I don't know exactly what's going on yet. Figure it out in the morning. Uh, and that should be good. Two classes tomorrow, and they're both good. My Wednesdays are pretty cool. It's gonna be 81 degrees tomorrow and 88 Thursday. 88 degrees. I cannot wait. It's high humidity too. It's like Florida weather, and thunderstorms, which really makes it like Florida weather, from what I remember. But. Uh, I'm talking to Bobby now, and that's cool. So I'm going to wrap this up, and we're kind of ending the vlog today in the same place we started it. And this has been a different style video today. We started off here about 24 hours ago, and now we're ending here. So that's what a day in the life of Ryan Knows Tech, and JRS Vlog, and E39 Source, and Tech Inform Us, and Ryan Tech Cores, and all the other YouTube channels that I have had. KRRS Hudson. Jesus, too many. Too many YouTube channels. So I'm going to edit this. And um, I feel productive today. When you get a lot of work done, you just have a good feeling. Feeling of accomplishment. So that's it. I think I'm going to do some mowing tomorrow afternoon if it's not raining. And I'll talk to you on Wednesday morning. Good night and thanks for watching.